What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm going to be calling motivated sellers live in front of you. That's right. I'm going to be picking up the phone and calling motivated sellers in front of you. So that way you can learn from me on how I talk to motivated sellers and how I try to lock up wholesale deals through the phone. This video is going to be very beneficial, beneficial and value packed when it comes to bettering your sales skills and learning how to effectively communicate through the phone. So that being said, let's get right into it. I'm going to jump on the phone and start calling motivated sellers. One thing I do want to give you for completely free before we get started is my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and my cold calling script for completely free. All you have to do is go to jacobblank.com slash free, jacobblank.com slash free. There's a link down below in the description for this, and you can download my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and my cold calling script for completely free. Other than that, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, let's jump on the phones. I'm going to start calling. So this video is probably going to be about an hour long and I'm going to call as many motivated sellers and try to have as many uh, conversations as I possibly can on the phone with motivated sellers. So let's get right into it. See if they pick up the phone. I sound a little stuffy. It's because there's just so many. Hello? Please leave your message. It's because there's so much pollen and allergies out in Arizona right now. I'm having bad allergies. But okay, they didn't answer. We're going to double dial. So we're going to call them back again. Please leave your message for. Please leave a message. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Give me a call back. Thanks. So no answer there. We're going to send them a text and we're going to move on. Smile and dial. We're going to move on. Call somebody else. All right. And let's uh, keep calling. Let's get somebody on the phone. Hello? Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Do you have a second to chat? Go ahead. What's your offer? Awesome. I just need to ask you a couple questions so I can make you the best offer I can. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So it's the property on St. Charles Road, right? Right. All right. Is it a four bedroom, one bath? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, the name on title should be Williams, Dennis Williams. Yep. Got it. Okay. Um, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? I have two homes. So is this one, is this one vacant or are you living in it? It's vacant now. Somebody was living in it up to the first, about a week ago. Okay. How old is the roof? How old is the roof? Probably 10 years old. Okay. My house was built in 1914, so that ought to give me an idea. Yeah. Um. So you said 10 years old on the roof. How about the air conditioning unit? Does it have a central AC unit or no? No. Okay. Boiler for heat. As far as the interior condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? It's in good shape. Okay. It's livable. Okay. Well, 
Uh, okay. Do, what type of countertops are in the kitchen? Are they laminate, formica, or are they granite? Probably laminate. All right. And then the flooring throughout the property. What type of flooring? Wood, oak, oak. Okay. How how much are you looking to get for the house? Three sixty. Okay. This is a double lot. Yeah. I see that. 15,000 square foot lot. Okay, let me see here. Um, any other remodeling or anything you've done to it that you would want me to know about? Well, I painted it. I was 15 years ago. Okay. Yeah, I should say. And you're just wanting to sell it kind of because it's your second property and you're not living there and you don't rent it anymore? Right. Okay. We can ready to hit the road and get out of this state. Got it. Where are you moving to? Where are you wanting to move to? Oh, right at the moment, anywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just going to pack up and go. So it's only a one bathroom, though? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Um, now, if I made you an offer you liked, how soon would you be ready to sell? Pretty much right away, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As far as like structural issues, is there any foundation issues with the property or no? No, it's a cinder block foundation. Okay. Um, let me see. One second. <laughs> And just want to confirm, it's it's about 1,500 square feet, right? Yeah. You're looking for 360? Yeah. My math's coming out around 315 for it. What do you think about that? Um, that's a little low. What's the best you would do? <laughs> 360 because it was originally listed at 400 on the market or where'd you list it or that's just what you wanted for it that's what I started out with on, I, I had to, on the market I, or, or yeah it was listed yeah why did it sell on the market or I see it's for sale yeah. right now yeah, it's been on the market for 263 days and hasn't sold. Why is that? 263 days. No, it hasn't been that long. That's what it says. But uh, why is it? Why is I it? Have uh... no, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, would you do 320? Let me think on it. Can you call me back tomorrow? Yeah, I can call Monday? you back. I can call you back tomorrow. Okay, that'd be great. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, and we can close quick. So, and we cover all the costs. So there's no okay. no closing costs. Uh, we buy it in as is condition, so you don't got to do anything. We make it really simple. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thank think you. Of, think about it. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Thanks, Dennis. I appreciate yeah. it. And oh wait, uh, one more thing. Do you have a pen and paper handy by chance? Can I give you my information? Um. So go ahead. All right. So my name is Jacob, J A C O B, and okay. our our company is National Home Buyers. National Home what? National Home Buyers. National Home Buyers. And then you ready for the cell number?
Yep. Okay, thanks. All right. Thank you. If I don't hear from you, I'll give you a call. Okay, sounds good. Thanks so much, Dennis. You have a good rest of your Friday. Okay, you too. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. That was a pretty good call. Pretty good deal. There's one that sold for $650. There's one that sold for $550. So if I get it low 300s, there's a little bit of money to be made there for sure. It sucks though. He's had it listed on the market for 425 and it hasn't sold, but it's a really bad listing. It doesn't have any photos and the realtor could have just done a bad job, but that hurts us with it have being listed before. It hurts us when we go to market it to sell the deal to a cash buyer, but still I'm getting it low 300s. It's listed for four, 425. So if I get it locked up at low 300s, there's definitely a spread there to make some money. Uh, so that's what I'm counting on with that deal. It actually might be a pretty good deal. And uh, he wanted 360. I made sure to shoot pretty low, shot an offer at 315. And uh, yeah, we'll keep it rolling. Let's move on to the next call. Uh, you've reached Robert Salmon at 716-264-1304. Unable to get my phone. No answer there. Send him a text, leave a voicemail, send him an email. Angles. Try to get these sellers contacted in any way, shape, or form. Text, voicemail, call, email. Hit them from all angles. Hi, uh, you've reached Robert Salmon. It's the mm -hmm. All right, no answer. Send him a text. All right, and we move on to the next one. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. No answer. Gonna redial. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. We're gonna send a text and we're gonna move on. And an email. There we go. On to the next one. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five one eight seven. No answer. We're gonna redial. Let's get some money on the phone. Your call. No answer. Send a text and an email, and we're going to move on to the next one. All right, let's keep calling.
three, zero. No answer. Double dial. Always got a double dial. So when doing sales calls, double dial. Got to get these people on the phone. Answer. We're going to send a text and an email, and we're going to move on to the next one. Dialed is invalid. Invalid Good numbers. Time. So these are Facebook leads from online, and sometimes the numbers will come in wrong. Fortunately, the number's wrong on this one, so we are going to send them an email, and hopefully they call back because they filled out the form online, but they put the wrong number in, which is not good. Um, so let's send them an email and then move on to the next call. Also, I do want to mention sometimes when they fill out the form online and they put their phone number in wrong, sometimes I'll skip trace them to find their proper number. So I'll skip trace the address to find their number that's right so I can reach them. Move on to the next one. This property is in Covington, Georgia. This is a good market. Right, right by Atlanta, Georgia. Good market. I'm sorry. The person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. At the standing desk. Goodbye. It's a hole in the wall still. We're going to redial this person. The standing desk is crucial for locking up deals. You got to have it. I'm sorry. No okay. answer. We're going to send them a text and an email, and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. I thought it was just pretty, but it's also No, good. Yeah, no, I'm I called I'm calling to you to give you the offer for your property. What? I, I kind of messed up there. But she said she was interested. I don't know why she hung up. Weird. And she's like, oh, yeah, the offer. And then, hello? Hey, this is Peter's phone. He's busy or he's not at the phone right now. I think so the please phone leave a message died. and he'll call you back. I think the phone died, actually. All good. Interesting. We're going to move on to the next one. Send them a text. We're going to move on. This one's in San Antonio, Texas. Which is a good market. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. No answer. It's a good market for wholesaling. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. Send them a text. I'm going to move on. I'm going to resume the recording when I get somebody on the phone. So that way we're not waiting around. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, you filled out a form online looking for an offer for the property on Phillips. Um, uh huh. Awesome. So a couple of questions for you while I calculate this offer. Is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? Yes, I'm trying to get to where my kids are. Okay. Where are your kids at? Fort Smith, Arkansas. Okay. And who is this again? I'm so sorry. My name's Jacob with National Home Buyers. You filled out a form last night looking for an offer? Uh-huh. Awesome. So uh, how old's the roof on the property? Uh, three years old. Okay. And you own the land, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not a mobile home. Okay. The roof's three years old. Is it a metal roof? Yes. Okay. What about uh, an air conditioning unit? Do you have a central AC unit? And if so, how old is that? That needs to be replaced. Okay. 
As far as the inside condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? It's in pretty good shape, but it needs some work also. Okay. It needs uh, one bathroom remodeled. Okay, what type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they laminate? For mica. Okay, for mica. Okay, and then what type of flooring do you have throughout the property? Uh, two bedrooms have carpet. Uh, two bedrooms have a uh, vinyl flooring. The kitchen has tile. The living room has concrete. Okay, how much are you looking to get for it? Hundred grand. Okay. And I also have a thirty by forty two story shop. Okay. In the backyard. Make sure you take good notes. Make sure you always pull out their asking price first. Remember, the first person to say a price loses. So make sure to get their asking price. Okay. Shop. Okay. If we were able to make you an offer you liked, how soon would you be ready to sell? Now. Okay. Um, it might be too small of a town for us. Let me see. Sometimes our company doesn't like investing in it if it's too small of a town. Um, let's see. Uh, let me do this. Um, let me have one of my other guys uh, on the team take a look and give me their opinion as well. Okay. On what they think, and then I'll get back to you because it is a small town, but we might be able to do something to help you out. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'll call you back later today. Uh huh. All right. Bye. It's kind of a small town. So I'm going to get a second opinion from one of my sales guys in real estate. You know, sometimes it's good to get a second opinion on what you think the value of a property is. So I just send it over to him. He'll check it out. He'll let us know. And we're moving the desk back down the standing desk and let's uh, keep calling. <laughs> Hey, are you there? Well, hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Do you have a second to chat? Yeah, can I ask who's calling? Yeah, my name's Jacob with National Home Buyers. You filled out a form last night looking for an offer on the property on yep. Orchard Place? Yeah. Awesome. So a couple questions for you while I calculate my offer. First off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? Um, we are moving out of Okay. How soon are you looking to move? Um, we are looking to move probably within the next month, month and a half. Okay. How old is the roof on the property? Uh, probably less than five years. Okay. Do you have a central AC unit, air conditioning unit? Um, it's uh, electric furnace, but the AC... Um, we use window unit. Okay. And then as far as the inside condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? Yeah, it could use some work, but it's not bad. Okay. What type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they laminate? Uh, for okay, for mica. And then what type of flooring do you have throughout the property? Um, carpet and... Uh... I think it's vinyl plank. Okay. Now, how much are you looking to get for it? Um, they probably around fifty thousand. Is it a mo manufactured home, right? It is a mobile home. Yeah. Okay, and you want to get around fifty for it? Yes. Okay. Um, it's a three bedroom, two bath, it's got a two car detached garage. Uh, it's got a, I brought out about an acre of land. How many square feet is the home? How much square feet? 
the mobile home itself, I think, is like right at a thousand. Okay. I see one here that sold for twenty eight thousand, fifteen hundred square foot living space, and then one hundred and forty four thousand square foot lot. So I don't know that we'd be able to do fifty. We'd probably be closer to twenty five thirty on it. I couldn't go that low. The okay. garage is super nice. It's got a uh, 24 by 28 or 24 by 30 garage. Um, like I said, the land's pretty nice. Okay. Um, I'll have a team member take a second look and let me know what they think. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, bye. Yeah, I don't know. It's a small town, but... Then there's like a bigger town not too far, so maybe it'll work. So I'm going to just pass it over to one of my sales guys, give give him a shot at it, a second look. And we're going to move on to the next one. Let's keep calling. All right, let's get a couple more people on the phone. Hello? Yeah. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Do you have a second to chat? Not really. It'll only take a couple minutes for me to make you the offer for your property. Yep. Okay. So it's the property on Whitmore Street, right? Yep. Okay. How old is the roof? Uh, it's, it's only got about a couple of years left. Okay. So it's old. How, how about you got a central AC unit? And if so, how old is that? Uh, okay. I got a brand new one and I didn't install it in there, but it's all there. I was getting ready to install it this weekend or this summer. Okay. As far as the inside condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? It can use some work. Okay. A lot of work or a little work or needs a full a little. a little work. Okay. What type of flooring do you have throughout the property? I got a tire in the living room, uh, the Final flooring, dining room, and the kitchen needs flooring stuff. So. Okay. What type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they laminate for mica or granite? Laminate. Okay. How much money are you looking to get for the house? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Okay. Are you living in it right now or is it vacant? No, I'm in it. Okay. Let me see what I can do for you. Um, let me see one second. How many bedrooms and bathrooms is it? Four and two. Okay. Uh, okay. As far as an offer, um, let me look at one more comparable. One second. Okay. I'd be around probably 13,000 for it. Mm, yep, I can do that. You would do 13 for it? Yep. Okay, how soon would you want to sell? As soon as you can. Okay. All right. Uh, is your email, um, let me see, King? Okay. All right. Are you able to access your email right now on the phone while yeah. we're talking? Okay. Uh, if, if you could go ahead and open up your email, I'll send this over to you. All 
All right. It's going to be an email from National Home Buyers from DocuSign. Do uh, what? It's going to be an email from National Home Buyers coming from DocuSign. You'll see it come through here shortly. Um, as far as the close date, when when would you be able to move out of the property? Whenever you need it. Okay. How about we shoot for the 23rd of May? Tuesday yep. the 23rd. Okay. And then that looks good. Okay. All right. You're going to see that email come through. All right. I just sent it over. We just have to read all the things that are completely done. Let me know when you see that email come through. You need to know me more pieces we need. James, did you see that email come through or? Yep, it just came through. You see an email from National Home Buyers? Yep. Okay, all right, go ahead and open that up. Click review. And let me know when you see purchase agreement for real estate at the top of your screen. To document the view and sign. Yep, click on that. All right, you got purchase agreement for real estate in front of you? Do you see the agreement or no? All right. All right, let me see. Okay, all right, let me go over it with you, okay? So this agreement is made today between you and our company for the property address. We're buying the property in as-is condition. We're gonna be buying it for $13,000. The earnest money, closing costs, attorney fees, title fees, HOA transfer fees, any of the transfer fees are to be paid in the following fashion, paid by the buyer. Any taxes, liens, encumbrances, or mortgage that you owe on the property is going to be paid by you. The property is sold as is with no warranties implied or stated from the seller. Seller to provide buyer with permission to access the property. So if we need to walk through the property, uh, this offer is contingent on clear title. So a title report and survey will be ordered if required promptly. So we'll order a title search. Uh, if subject property is damaged prior to transfer, uh, the buyer can still buy the property. Seller warrants that there's no judgments or bankruptcy pending threatening the equity in the property. Buyer arrived at the offer price by carefully evaluating current market values then estimating expenses and making projections on possible profits. Acceptance. This agreement will become a binding agreement when signed by both of us. This agreement makes up the entire agreement. Any modification must be rated in writing. Close of escrow May 23rd, and then uh, the title company to be determined. We'll use the title company that's close to us. Um, but yeah, then uh, that's all. It's pretty simple. Simple as is agreement. When you're ready to sign, there's a spot for your signature and a spot for the date. And then once you sign, we'll sign and we'll send you a final copy. Got disconnected, but I think I got a signature here. Let's see, uh, not yet. Wonder why we got disconnected. Oh, but there's a signature. So we just locked up the deal. There we go. We locked up the deal, but it's a small town, small property, $13,000. Not the best deal, but hello? Please leave your I think his phone died. I'm going to text him to call me back. But he signed the agreement, so I'm going to sign it right now and send it back to him. But we locked up a deal. It's not the best deal in the world. It's kind of a small town, so it's probably going to be hard to sell. 
but I think the numbers make sense on it. There's ones going for like 50, 60,000. So if it doesn't need that much work, like he was saying, if we lock it up at 13,000, it's a pretty good deal. Um, you know, we could make a few thousand dollars wholesaling it. So there we go. Um, we're going to move on to the next call, but we locked up that deal. So let's go. That's dope. All right. That's sweet. So let's move on to the next call. Smile and dial. Keep it going. It's weird. We disconnected, but then he signed the agreement. So I hope I can get a hold of him again. That's super weird. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Do you have a second to chat? I'm actually at work right now. It'll only take a couple minutes. Okay. All right. So for the Good Hope Circle, Apartment C, right? Yes. Okay. So a couple questions for you. Is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? I don't really like no, me and my children don't want to live in Grand Junction, so. Okay. Okay, and then as far as the inside condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? Uh, uh, it might need some new carpet, but that's about it. Okay, what type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they laminate for mica or are they granite? I believe they're laminate. Okay. And then what flooring do you have other than carpet? There is kitchen, uh, it's not tile, it's the other stuff. Vinyl? Yeah, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Okay, how much are you looking to get for it? Well, I know that the uh, ones around me are going in the 200,000. So I don't want to really go below 170, 165. 170, 165, okay. Um. So, yeah, I mean, there was ones that sold close to 200, but, you know, they were in really good shape. Um, what color are the cabinets in your kitchen? Uh, the, the top ones are white, and the other ones um, were recently painted. They're, uh, I think they're like a, a gray and a, like a peach color. Okay. Um, let me see here. As far as an offer for you, we could be at a hundred and forty for it. That's I'd have to uh, look into that a little bit more because that's a little bit lower than I was looking to go. That's net to you. We cover all the closing costs. So it's in your pocket and we buy it in as is condition, no real inspections. So you don't have to fix anything up or repair anything. We make it super easy. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to still look into um, some other things before I say yes or no. But you maybe give me a little bit to talk to, of course, my daughter that I live with. Yeah. Because we are all going to be moving together. So I kind of want to speak with her and stuff. For sure. Do you have a pen and paper handy maybe so you can write down my information so that way you can get back in touch with me? I don't at the moment, but maybe you could call me back and I won't answer and then you can uh, leave me a voicemail. Okay. So that work? I, will okay. I will text you and send you an email. Okay, that works for me. All right, have a good rest of the day at work, and I look forward to hearing back from you. All right, thank you. Yep, bye. Bye. All right, so that one's decent. She's going to think about the offer, and so we'll go from there. Um, not bad. So we'll follow up with her, but uh, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this video. So we sent out a contract. We got it signed. It was in a small town. We had a couple other phone calls with motivated sellers that were pretty good. Um, so that being said, I hope this video was helpful to you. 
Pretty educational video, pretty value packed on how to talk to motivated sellers. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Also go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Also, there is links in the description for every single tool that I use in my wholesaling real estate business. So make sure to check out the links in the description down below. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.